So, how do we combine text values that are in separate cells? In this example, we have a column of first names and a column of last names. We want to combine each first name with its corresponding last name separated by a space. There are a plethora of ways to do this, but let's look at some involving functions, starting with the concat method. In the first argument, we reference the first name. In the second, we put a space between quotation marks. And then in the third, we reference the last name. Drag the fill handle down five more rows to return all the combined names. Very easy. There's another function called text join that works similarly, but enables us to specify our chosen delimiter only once in the opening argument. We'll leave the second argument blank so it defaults to true because we want to ignore empty cells. Then we will reference the range A3 to B3 all in one go. Drag the fill handle down again and voila, there's our six combined names. Hang on a minute, I've just realised in both of these methods I've used one formula per value. That is a taboo in modern Excel. This is not pre-2020. We should only be using one formula to return a set of results, unless it's absolutely necessary to use more. So let's try something else. In the formula, let's convert the cell references into ranges so they point to all the first and last names. Oh dear, that's not what we're after. It's combined each column's values in the same cell and left a space in the middle. If we do the same in the text join formula, we get something similar, although a space displays in between every value. Without resorting to long-winded methods, what can we do to get the results we want with a single formula? Let's look at the concatenate function. This is an old function that remains present for compatibility reasons. It was indeed superseded by concat. Now, remember the second concat formula I showed you. This is the exact same thing with the older function, but look at the results it returns. It gives us exactly what we want but we don't really want to use deprecated functions, do we? Thankfully, we have our friend, the ampersand operator. Think of it as glue, it glues strings together. All we have to do is reference the first names, put an ampersand and then a space in between two quotation marks, another ampersand, and then reference the last names. I'm sure you'll agree, this is the best method for this scenario. That's not to say that concat and text join shouldn't be used in others, but as you saw, we got the job done with a single simple formula, and that should always be the aim.